Fisahi, who is in Mapopane for us. Thanks very much for joining us, Patricia. Just tell us what the latest is where you are. Well, good afternoon, Nompo, and to our viewers. Certainly a hype of activity here outside, uh, of course, uh, the home as uh, the uh, leaders are going to, of course, uh, you know, pay respects to the family and also just get to the bottom of uh, what is happening here. You would understand that um, this comes just a few um, hours, I would say less than 24 hours, as we have seen the spate of uh, protests that, of course, took place in this community in reaction to uh, the killing of uh, Mr. Mutau. Many of the ANC members saying that they need answers and we would understand that this is of course not the only um, ward councillor candidate that has been gunned down in uh, recent days as we uh, get closer to the uh, local elections. Um, of course uh, again this putting the spotlight square on political killings and of course political intolerance that has sought here in the capital city and it takes us back to the 2016 local elections where we saw the same uh, type of intolerance, the political infighting in the ANC um, and some of, of course, the comrades having to pay the ultimate price as, of course, the comrades fight for political positions and political powers. But it goes beyond that. There's so many speculations, so much information that we're gathering as the media. So I just want to give you, of course, also um, the shots of uh, just what's happening here uh, outside. A lot of uh, uh, as I said, people who have come in uh, their numbers. There was a large group that was just gathered here, uh, uniting in song. Um, they have just uh, gone down the road. Some of them are scattered. Another group is sitting just on the other side under uh, the tree. Of course, inside we have the uh, Gauteng uh, Premier that is uh, in a meeting there. A lot of police activity just down the road, the police Nyala. Um, so it's a lot of activity. You'd understand that it is a situation. It is a sensitive situation and it is a situation that has also plunged a lot of, um, of course, political hopefuls in the capital city uh, who are living in fear that they might be next. And we've heard so many of them saying, who is next? Who has yet another target on their back and they perhaps don't know. And uh, also, of course, uh, the calls for the police minister for intelligence to act swiftly. So there's a lot, lot, lot of, uh, uh, as I said, demands on the ground. Um, there are also speculations of, uh, you know, people fighting for, uh, um, you know, land opportunities and uh, tender. So um, a, 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 it's a lot of murky information, but nevertheless, the spate of crime that is getting committed as uh, we are, of course, uh, you know, as the media trying to piece together and just monitor the road to elections and uh, uh, the bloodshed that comes uh, with it. So we'll bring you more updates in terms of uh, the leaders that are here, interview them. Uh, we'll also be interviewing the police minister to find out what the plan of action is um, around this. Um, also perhaps speak to the ANC leaders that are here to find out how are they reacting to this um, and what are they calling for during this time of uh, you know fear for many of uh, the uh, ANC members and just detention amongst them and uh, the intolerance that is very evident um, during this time and perhaps perhaps this time around even worse as um, you know they can't even as in 2016 where they were fighting for um, the the soul of the capital city this time around they're fighting really amongst themselves so let's give it back to studio and we'll come back a little bit later to you. Thanks very much, my colleague there.